I don't get it. What's the big deal? It's just a stupid sweater. Okay, but it's not hers. So what? Hey, guys. What did I miss? Hi, Delaney. Hi. Nick says Rachel's making a big deal about the sweater. Rachel? The narrator in Sandra Cisneros' story 11. Oh, right. Rachel doesn't want to make a big deal about the sweater. But she can't help her feelings. Whoa, whoa. Can someone read the prompt first? I got it here. How does the incident of the red sweater reveal the multiple years inside 11-year-old Rachel? And then we're supposed to analyze Rachel's reactions and thoughts and use lots of textual evidence. Reveal the multiple years inside Rachel. What does that mean? Well, Rachel has a theory about being multiple years at once, right? Oh, yeah. She explains it at the beginning of the story. When you're 11, you're also 10, and 9, and 8, and 7, and 6. You're still all the ages you were before. That part I get, because she acts like a four-year-old when it comes to that red sweater. You seem so annoyed, Nick. Yeah, what's your problem? I don't know, it's just, I just, why doesn't she say something, you know? If it's not her sweater, she should say something. Okay, well, let's look at that part. So Mrs. Price holds up this old, raggedy sweater, and no one claims it. Then, finally, another kid in the class says it belongs to Rachel. Yeah, and she says, Mrs. Price takes the sweater and puts it right on my desk. When I open my mouth, nothing comes out. See, why doesn't she stand up for herself? She tries to. She says to Mrs. Price, That's not, I don't, you're not, not mine. I finally say it in a little voice that was maybe me when I was four. But Mrs. Price doesn't believe her. Oh, boo-hoo. Not her sweater. Anyways, it's her birthday, right? She should think of it as an unexpected present. An ugly sweater that smells like cottage cheese? I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, Rachel admits she's acting like a four-year-old. She's not choosing to behave this way. She can't help it. Maybe that's what the prompt is getting at when it says, how does the incident reveal the multiple years inside Rachel? This is how it reveals the four-year-old in her. But Rachel's not four, she's 11. So? So why doesn't she act like it? I get Nick's point. Rachel is really... What was that word our teacher used? Passive. She doesn't speak up for herself. But on the inside, she has lots to say. But that's it. She doesn't sound like a four-year-old on the inside. I mean, that whole thing about being all those different years at once. You see, that's the kind of thing my mom would say. Yeah, in some ways, she's really mature. But in other ways, she's like a little kid. That's kind of what the story is about, isn't it? Yeah, except that... What, Jalen? Well... We found where the story reveals the part of Rachel that's four, and the other part where she's older than her age. But where's the part where she's just 11? You think we'll find that in here? Don't know, but I'd like to read again. Yeah, me too. Let's do it. Find anything about what it's like to be 11? What about her life at home? We don't see much of her life at home. I mean, it's never described or anything. Yeah, but we get the feeling of what it's like there. Rachel describes it like it's this really safe and happy place. And she talks about her parents a couple of times, right? Yeah, her parents sound really excited to celebrate her birthday. It says, Mom's making a cake for me tonight, and when Papa comes home, everybody will sing happy birthday, happy birthday to you. But in the last paragraph, she puts it a little different. There will be candles and presents, and everybody will sing, Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Rachel only is too late. Poor Rachel. We're back to that again? You've never had a bad day on your birthday? Well, maybe. But I was really young. Like how young? Okay, at my fifth birthday party, we played pin the tail on the donkey. And Marcus Wheeler got all turned around, and uh, he got me instead. He pinned the tail on you? Caught me on the shoulder. Oh, no. <laughs> and it hurt. And just like Rachel, I couldn't wait till it was over so I could go home. Did your parents make it nice for you? Yeah, they did. But Rachel's saying that her parents can't make it nice for her. Not this time. Guess that only works when you're a kid. Exactly. What do you mean? Once you're 11, your parents can't fix your life anymore. True, but I wouldn't want to go back to being five, even if it was easier. Rachel never says, I wish I was five again. No, more like the other way. She wishes she were 102, so this day was way, way, way behind her. I don't blame her for that. But maybe that's what it's like to be 11. Your parents can't fix your life anymore, but you still remember a time when they could. And you haven't figured out how to be yourself in the outside world, but you want to. I know I'm being hard on Rachel. I bet she'll figure it out. She's got all the right ideas and all, but she just hasn't 
found her voice yet. I understand that. One thing she knows for sure, she wants to get as far away from this birthday as she can. Should we read it through one last time, see if we can find any more clues? Sure, but first, I want to hear a little more about this fifth birthday party. Yeah, did Marcus Wheeler really pin the tail on you? Everybody laughed. It was awful. Rachel had it easy. <laughs> Come on, did it really hurt that much? <laughs>